morning. It's 8 15. I'm heading to get my windows tinted this morning and then Ubering to the gym. I've got a bag so I can shower and then I'm probably gonna get a spray tan after for this weekend. Busy day, no classes here in Tuscaloosa, at least for me. And we're gonna get today started. I went to bed last night at 9 45. I don't know why. I was so exhausted. I was so tired and I slept until 7 15 this morning and it felt so nice. I need to do that at least once a week because it felt so good. Into my bag here, I've got a towel, another sweatshirt for when I actually get the spray tan, and then some shoes to change into, as well as a little bit of body wash here so that I can just kind of wash off my body before I get the spray tan at the gym. Car guy is expecting me in about 15 minutes. It's like six minutes away, so I'm gonna start to get on my way. I've already mixed up my pre-workout and filled up my water bottle, so we're getting ready to go. One of the features I love is that I literally turn on my car through the Ford Pass app and my heat's already seated. My seat, what? <laughs> my seat's already heated and we're getting on our way. So, oh my gosh, I just look so tired even though I got so much sleep. So, welcome to a day in my life. I'm so glad to bring you guys along today. to get a spray tan here at Crunch. Same machines that like Tom Beach Tan or anything like that uses. I get medium clear and uh, this is my before. I'll show you in like this little mirror. My before color. This set is from Amazon. I can try and link it. There we go. Okay, so time to see what this looks like later. Obviously because it got medium clear, that means it doesn't show up right away. So I just have this black sweat set on and now I'm going to get and Uber to my apartment. Everyone is in class, unfortunately, so I have to Uber back home and be there till my cross time. some laundry but first I'm gonna wait till my spray tan is like not so sticky so I can throw this in there and change for the day I'm about to crack open my Celsius I'm drinking a Fuji apple pear today so good so on today's agenda I've got some schoolwork that's due either tomorrow or Saturday that I want to get done today because again I will be out of town I'm going to New Orleans for the first time ever I'm really excited I've got a lot of girlfriends going so that's gonna be really fun and I need to get everything done before tomorrow morning because my goal is to be pack tonight, wake up tomorrow morning, go to the gym, come back, shower, blow dry my hair, and then be able to go. So I'm hoping that that's the case. I think we're aiming to leave around like 11, 11.30. I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging this weekend just because I've heard things about people getting stuff stolen. I don't wanna be any more noticeable than I already am. For now, we're gonna have some fun today. It's a very busy day, yet I don't really have anything concrete to do. Obviously I need to go pick up my car at some point today. He's going to text me when my car is done being tinted and I know it's just gonna look so beautiful. I'm also planning to run to Target. I have a couple things I wanna grab. I wanna grab something at Ulta, sort of last minute, this like face oil that I really love. It's a splurge, but I did get some Visa gift cards for Christmas, so I've been trying to use that on like splurge items that I wouldn't buy myself, because that's the point if people give you presents. I mean, I've used some of it towards groceries, so I felt like, okay, I'm gonna treat myself and get this oil, which I'll show you guys. It's from Sunday Riley, and I've been using like the little tester I got in like a Christmas gift package because I wanted to try out a couple of their things without buying like very expensive versions of it. So I decided I love it, and I'm gonna get the still the smaller version, but it's still fifty dollars. But we're gonna pick that up today. I don't know what else. If there's something going on, oh, eight o'clock. There's church tonight, so we're gonna go do that too. It's gonna be a fun day. I think I should probably get started on some of the schoolwork. I don't think it's gonna take me long. I just need to sit down and do it. And that's why I've been avoiding doing it all week is because it's not gonna take long. But I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I gotta sit down and do it. When it's not due right away, sometimes I'm like, mm, you know, if it's gonna take me an hour, like today's the day though. <laughs> I'm hungry and I want something to eat, but I already had two pieces of toast this morning. I didn't vlog that because it was before I kind of picked up the camera, but I woke up so hungry. Maybe because I slept so long. I'm not sure, but I had like two pieces, small pieces of this sourdough bread. I get it from the fresh bread section of Publix. It looks like this. If you guys don't have Publix, I'm sure your grocery store makes these and it's so good. And it's $3.85 for the whole thing. And usually I can eat most of it before it starts like getting moldy and you gotta throw it away. I feel like I just wanna make some avocado toast on this today and I think I have an avocado left. Let me double check on that actually. <gasps> okay, scratch that. I don't have avocado. <gasps> oh no, bummer. Oh, I'm 
so sad actually. I don't know why I thought I had a little more. You know what I do have though? A grapefruit. I saw this at the store and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had grapefruit in so long. I guess for breakfast, I'm gonna have some eggs and my grapefruit. And maybe I'll make one more like smaller piece of this toast because the sourdough bread is perfection. I'm trying not to be so sad about the avocado. Like I was really confident that I had a whole one left. Oh, are you guys ready for this? Ah! And it's a Florida grapefruit. That's so cute. Amazing. People who don't like grapefruits, red flag. You know what? I think that might make up for the fact that I don't have another avocado. It's my eggs. So I just got a text from the tint guy and he said that the car is almost ready and to come at noon and it is 11.48, so I'm about to leave here in just a couple of minutes to go pick up my car. I'm so excited to see it. I got my car tinted at Precision Tint here in Tuscaloosa. Mike is awesome, so I can't wait to go see what it looks like. I might just change really quickly and after that probably we'll just go to Target and Ulta. We'll run our errands while I'm already out and then we'll come back and I'll finish my schoolwork and we just got lots of stuff to do. Okay, I actually didn't change, but I threw on this go-getter hat for my first ever merch collection. You can still get the Jet Set collection. We're gonna have that up until the end of March. Some exciting things coming about that. And then this set is from Lululemon. It's black. It's got like colorful speckles in it. Maybe you can see them a little better here. So it's colorful speckles. It's like the LA crew sweatshirt and the joggers. And then these Air Force Ones are sold out, but they have a bunch of cute ones right now. So this is kind of the fit. And these cute little cowgirl earrings. Little hat, the purse. I'm excited to see my car. Look at how much of my reflection you can see in these windows you cannot see in here at all and I also got a little strip put on the front here to hopefully help with glares so I'm, oh, she looks so good I got the car tinted as dark as legally possible. The same rules apply for Florida and Alabama, so it just got as dark as it could go for there, but here's what it looks like. Here's what that front strip looks like. I think it's gonna take me a couple minutes to get adjusted to or a couple times driving, but it's supposed to really help with glare, and I really hope that I like it. If not, he said he would get it taken off for me. But yeah, I'm gonna go head over to Target now and then I'm gonna go head to Ulta. We're gonna run some errands, let's go together. And then we'll have to go back and finish some schoolwork. I'm really, really thrilled with the job that they did on this. So can't wait to call my dad and be like, look at my car. Now that I'm home, I'm gonna do just a quick haul of everything that I got. The Target stuff is not fun, and Ulta, I went in for one thing, and I came out with like seven. So, if that tells you anything. Like you saw my card, I got detergent, softener, and dryer sheets. I already put those away. Everything else in this bag. I got two cans of Poppy Prebiotic Soda. I don't know why I only grabbed two. They weren't on sale or anything. I just needed a couple more in my fridge. I like to drink those. I also got another one of these Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Apparently, this is a dupe for something. I don't know. I like the lip gloss. This is the color... I don't know, I like it, I think it's pretty. I have like a clear version of this and then I thought a lighter pink could be pretty and a neutral one. I also got a pair of lashes. I thought maybe like these could look good on for a fancy night. They're the Ardell Naked Lashes in 420. I don't know. I also got just a mini version of body wash for this weekend because I couldn't find one this morning. And then finally, some Hershey's Kisses. Uh, these are conversation kisses, but they're milk chocolate. I love to snack on these. Oh, I also got like a little dish from like the $3 section that looked like little lips and I already put it in my bathroom because you know I have that cute little shower curtain. And now I'm just gonna eat one of these chocolates. It says me plus you. Me and you, babe. Now Ulta, I ended up spending all the rest of my Christmas money that I was willing to spend, which is good, and $18 on my own card, but I definitely was not expecting to spend this much, but I think I wanna like try and get into beauty skincare more. I went in specifically for this Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I got, like I said, the little Christmas gift pack, and I've loved using this at night. I only got the little one, still $50 for this little one. Next size up was like $110, and I don't need that, plus this is gonna last me forever based on how much that little 
little one has lasted me because I've used it every night for almost two months and I spilled some on the counter. So I think this is gonna last for a really long time and I think this will be a good investment. And when I was over there looking at that, I saw this wake up with me little pack. Also Sunday Riley. This is valued at like $177. It was $95, but it comes with six different things for the morning. Now I have already tried this CEO in the good jeans. Those are the two other things that were in the little gift pack I got around Christmas time. I did love the CEO. I just didn't want to spend that much money on like a moisturizer, but I'm glad that I got another little thing of it. Plus I really wanted to try the CEO glow and that itself was 50 bucks. So I thought for another $40, you might as well get some other stuff. This pink drink essence looks cool. The auto correct. And then it also comes with a cleanser. So here's a little box it comes in and these are all the products. They're actually pretty good sizes. The pink drink is 0.8. The CEO is 0.5. The CEO glow is 0.3, 0.5. 0.27 for this auto correct. This one's 0.5. So as much as I just spent on this $50 little serum, that's 0.5. I already caught like one's 0.5 and 0.8 and you know, for 90 five dollars hopefully i like it i can kind of let you guys know how much i like those kinds of things they also had a nighttime version if that's something you're interested in like really getting a bunch of products to try at checkout i saw this real techniques it's like a beauty blender um and i have one but i liked that this had a little travel case because i feel like whenever i throw my beauty blender into my makeup bag i'm like oh that's so gross so for like six bucks i got a new one it's a little bit smaller than the one i already have but i like that it has the case i would have just bought the case for six bucks so it's a bonus then everything nyx was buy two to get one free so I figured why not because I already had to get some setting spray I just really like this matte finish setting spray it's like eight dollars and so because I was already gonna get this I love these two products in different colors so I thought I would just get some new ones this is the NYX lingerie push-up I use this sort of as a lip liner I don't even know what color this is actually oh bedtime flirt oh okay I just liked the little bit of a darker color oh my gosh I'm gonna have to be like an OG beauty blogger so you can see the color it's not really focusing I also love this powder puff lippy this is the last one in this color which is called squad goals and just a nice pink color I think these will look good together and then the last thing I got I already used this product and I actually really love it tart sent it to our entire sorority after sorority recruitment for free and they got me hooked it's the man eater mascara I love it I think it's amazing and this is like 23 bucks so that's everything I got today I cannot spend any more money and now I think I'm going to of course put it all away and eat some lunch and get back to some homework where I have something at four o'clock to tell you guys I'm doing at four o'clock <laughs> Four o'clock, I am getting wax, and then eight o'clock is church. So we've got plenty of pockets of time to do stuff in between. I'm also waiting on a package that's here in Tuscaloosa. It's supposed to be delivered today through UPS from Revolve, and it was guaranteed today. And it doesn't say out for delivery, but it says like processed at facility. So I'm hoping it'll come today because I'm leaving by like 11:30 tomorrow, and it won't be here. Praying that that package comes, even if it comes late tonight. I don't care when. I just need it. Well, my tan is certainly developing. It's definitely getting darker as we speak i just made myself this is the last sort of batch burnt them a little bit some sweet potato fries and had the rest of my asian salad kit and now i am back to blackboard working on a couple of discussion posts and one qr code assignment i just like don't have enough pictures of qr codes and i need five the only one that i have at the moment is from my sister save the date for her wedding that connects to her wedding website so i'm gonna be probably working on this for a while and it's now 2 45 so i've got a little bit of time to be doing this and it's kind of boring so hopefully there's less boring stuff later and i will film that and show you i just heated up my spaghetti squash with a meat sauce i did turkey meat instead of beef last night and that's what i'm eating for dinner before i go to church because it's 6 55 and i've got to leave in half an hour it looks so gross on camera i promise it tastes good okay so i've been packing but kayla's now here to pick me up for church just wearing the same thing as earlier i thought i was going to change didn't second time it's happened today but let's go to church and then we'll be back to this crazy mess hey vloggy vlog <laughs> look who i'm with look where we're at i can't really tell it's church it doesn't really look like church because we're parked so far away because there's so many people here but we're gonna head in oh my gosh i look so tan in this lighting this is not <laughs> Maggie and I get to lead our students here at Church of the Highlands and I just want you to know that I'm so excited to be in the room with you tonight. Oh my gosh, I was just so zoomed in on my face. That was really gross. Back from church, back to this mess. I'm going to take a shower so I can wash all the spray tan off of me and then continue to sort of pick out outfits. But I think I need to get off the spray tan before I finish outfits for New Orleans. My room is a disaster. I need to do cleaning. I need to edit a video. I need to watch some videos for a project meeting I now have at 9.30 in the morning tomorrow. And I have to go to bed because I want to wake up to go to the gym before my 9.30 meeting. And I need to 
shower and blow dry my hair and get ready for New Orleans. I feel so stressed. Like, I don't know what has happened in the past six hours, let's just say, but it's 10 o'clock and I just already feel my body kind of shutting down. Like, I don't function well after like 10 p.m., 10, 10 30, 11, 11 05, and I think it's when my phone says it's time to go to bed. I'm winding down. Church was really good and today's been a really good day. It's gotten really busy. Tomorrow's gonna be stupid busy, but I'm glad that I sort of got to bring you guys along to see the craziness. Imagine if I had class today. <laughs> Seriously, it would have been insane. I'm gonna do some of this packing stuff. It's kind of boring. It's a lot of me just like trying on outfits, hating them, trying some more things. I have these pants, these pink pants that I really love and I really want to bring and I just can't find the top for them. And so I think it's gonna be a lost cause. I will probably see you after my shower. I'm gonna get all this tan off and uh, be good. Okay, so almost everything is packed up in that little bag. I've got a couple of things left out, like my toothbrush and a little bit of makeup and stuff like that for the morning, but I'm pretty packed. And my room's still a mess, but you know what? I can barely function. It's like 11.15 and my eyes are shutting on me and there's the yawn. So I'm gonna head to bed, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this day. Hopefully I showed enough. Hopefully you like these, or if you have any other videos or any other things you wanna see, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.